This is how you voxelize an object using a matrix. First, let's create a matrix and then uh, increase it in the y direction as well. The object has to exist inside of this uh, matrix, like inside the box. And then let's create a torus, select the matrix, change the from to object, then put the torus into the object option, then hide the torus. Now the torus is voxelized as you can move the torus by rotating it, choosing rotation, you'll get this effect. You can also move the matrix itself and then you'll get this effect. You can render this these voxels using uh, the rest shift method or you can clone onto uh, the matrix with a cloner. Select create a cloner, create a cube, make it smaller make the cubes very small, make it an object of the cloner, and then put the cloner after the matrix so you don't get a delay, and then change the mode to object, put the matrix as an object, and then hide the matrix. Now uh, make the cubes even smaller. Let's go closer. And this is the effect you get. Uh, you can also, again, uh, rotate the object as well to get uh, very nice effects if you want to add more than one object then you can put you can add a connect object then put the torus in the connect and in the matrix put the connect as the object now you can just add uh, another uh, object let's say a cone just add it to the connect and it will immediately be voxelized let's move it to another area and you'll see it's, it's voxelized immediately let's hide it as well let's hide the whole connect and that's how you voxelized objects in cinema 4d using the matrix object